This is episode 72 of the A Free Spirit Life Podcast. I'm Shannon Kinney Dew, holistic life coach, spiritual mentor, artist, writer, teacher. And in today's show, I am feeling inspired to talk to you about the change of season. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're moving from summer to the fall equinox around now. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're also changing seasons. Change in life happens to all of us. It happens really every day, sometimes every moment. If you're a parent, you totally understand change is constant. Just when you think you've got your kids figured out, it changes all over again. (laughs) I am feeling inspired though to look at the nature around us, to look at the rhythms of the season and see what it can teach us about our own lives. When we get too comfortable in life is when we have the most trouble adapting and adjusting to change. And I always find the transition period feels rough, messy, chaotic. And for people who like to be in control and like to have things just so, wow, that can really be disruptive because... Everything that we've known that's been rhythmic and routine and somewhat consistent and predictable goes out the window during transition. And so sometimes it's minor transition, you know, just moving from summer to autumn. Maybe that is a delight for you. Maybe that is joy for you. And for people who feel somewhat balanced in life or really appreciate the change in seasons, that's probably what you feel like. Maybe you're more focused on what you love about the new season. But even on a a minor level, it can still feel irritating or even some sadness I've noticed can come up because we're moving and having to let go of the past. And so even this past summer, I have felt very energized and a lot of transformation has happened. I've really been appreciating the activity and the sun and just the fire of summer has really fueled my creativity and I've loved a lot of it. And there's even some sadness for me, like, oh my God, winter's coming. And I know how (laughs) seasonal I am. So when winter hits, I'm just like, here I am. I'm going to be, you know, huddled in at home with my soup and (laughs) pray for snow. And I'm not ready for that yet. And so luckily we have this transition period and we have this new season of autumn to prepare us for deep winter, to prepare us for the changes that are here to come. But I really do want to encourage you, as I am also trying to make space for, is to honor and even grieve the past, whether it's simply the past season and having this grief of saying goodbye to summer, or maybe there's something deeper. Maybe you've also been experiencing some spiritual awakenings or some life changes. Maybe there's just been some really massive things happening and maybe you're noticing how fast your kids are growing and now they're in you know another grade uh, older and they're a few inches taller and all those life moments that are really opportunities to teach us how to savor how to be present how to breathe in life how to soften and be open to the change, and how to let go, how to release the past. And so I think there's a grieving period, you know, and I I hope that you can allow yourself to feel slowed down enough with this equinox and this time of autumn to pay attention. Where are you being called to shine a light on? to observe 
how out of balance things have gotten in your life to recognize what you loved about the past and what you're ready to release, what you're ready to let go of so that you can make space for new beginnings. I see this time of change as a new beginning. It is an ending and every ending is a new beginning of some kind. But we can't fully be available for the new beginning without releasing the past, without honoring what we've learned from life and then letting it go, making space for the new. So as we move forward, see if you can do it with some tenderness, see if you can do it with an open heart and As you release and grieve and uh, really understand that there are things that you can't do anymore, whether it's over giving or over committing or over spending or over worrying, whatever the too much, not enough cycle in your life is, this season is teaching us how to rebalance how to recalibrate what's out of balance, how to retune so that we can live in greater harmony in our relationships, in our day-to-day life with our families, in our creative and um, beautiful work that we are here to share. Where are you living out of balance in life? Where does your energy go? And where are you ready to protect that energy a little bit more or redirect it so that you can feel more ease in your life? I think one of the lessons that nature provides us when we change seasons is reflection and acceptance. You know, on my morning walks, I have been noticing a lot of the flowers are dead now and even the leaves are just starting to change and everything's just looking a little more wilted and in preparation for letting go. And we are no different. We are nature and we've had a very fiery summer and depending on what path you're on and what you've experienced in your life up to this moment, it can be pretty darn wearing and you might be feeling a little burned out. You might be feeling that you need to refuel and recharge. You might be feeling the desire to go a little slower. And I think that's what this shift really reminds us of is this invitation to slow down, to Return to a more adaptable, sustainable pace, a breathable pace. So as you listen to these words, take a deep breath, take several deep breaths and allow your breath to breathe your body. Allow your breath to help you relax your nervous system and soften your shoulders. And I love the word soften right now because I think we can get pretty serious when we're going through transition, when we're going through transformation, when we're going through some type of awakening. And there's a lot to be serious about in the world. There is a lot going on and a lot of attention that needs to be, or need, you know, a lot of things that need our attention And there's work to be done. You know, we need our energy to show up with love, with light, with forgiveness, with mindful action to help make a positive impact in the world. I know you're feeling that and I know you're doing that and I know you're doing your part to give back, to be of service, to share the love in your heart with others. And I think a big part of the shift when we're going through transition, we're being called to look within. We're being called to look 
at our own hearts? Where have we closed off? Where do we feel constriction in the body? Where have we given so much that we have nothing left for ourselves? How can we regain some balance in our life? And I think a big part of remembering that you are nature helps you remember your true nature is not one of constriction. Your true nature is being able to adapt and be flexible and be fluid and move with the changing times. Your true nature is able to let go and make space for new beginnings. Your true nature is to feel and to feel deeply and to embody the elements of nature, to know when you need to ground and connect with earth, to know when you need more water, if you're feeling really tight and serious, how can you bring more pleasure and creativity and joy into your life? That's water. How can you reignite your inner fuel, your inner flame so that you can shine a little brighter and feel more confident and feel more refueled? How can you lean into breath? You know, I've noticed this season, there's a lot more wind coming in on these hotter late summer days as we're shifting to autumn and that, that air, that wind is, is blowing out what we no longer need. The branches and the leaves and the stagnant energy, it's, it's getting blown away and The breath, if you think about it, when you breathe, opens and expands the heart center. It helps it to soften. So if you're feeling constricted and you're not really receiving um, because you're holding on to or you have a lot of fear in your life, fear of letting go of the past, fear of what these new beginnings are going to bring to your life, this new transition, the new season in your life. Bring a little more breath to your body. Let the breath open and soften your heart. Make space for what you need by slowing down, by leaning into the shift and the transition from summer to autumn. That's what it means to embody these elements that are here to guide us, this true nature. (laughs) I say it often and I'll probably say it forever, but we are nature. We are abundant by nature. We are whole. We are complete. We are fluid. We are earth. We are water. We are fire. We are air. We are space. And the elements in nature and the seasons and the rhythms of nature The more we learn how to live within those, reconnect to those, the more ourselves we feel, the more clarity we have, the more presence and peace and unconditional love we experience. And we are moving away from a world that has completely flipped that on its side or, or, or over <laughs> several times, thousands and thousands of years, pulling us away from our true nature, pulling us away from the elements, pulling us away from knowing what side is up and who we truly are, always externally looking for validation, looking for proof, looking for answers. I really think that the symbol of autumn And the season shift right now is to invite us to slow down, to get quiet, to find the stillness within, to listen to our hearts, to listen to our bodies, to pay attention to how we speak, what we think, the frequency of our thoughts matter. And when we slow down and find a little stillness in the transition, We can hear it. We pay attention to it. We recognize when we're unkind to ourselves. We recognize the voice of judgment. We recognize when we're stuck in regret and living in the past and we're holding on. And we recognize when we are in the future 
worrying about what might or might not happen. Those are patterns that we have learned in this conditioned way of living, in this 3D way, in the illusion of all the teachings up to this point that we've learned since very little children that they have the answers for us. And and now we're saying, wait a minute, I don't even know what living in alignment with nature really means. Let me find out. So what I love about autumn in particular and how it can help us re- connect to our true nature is it's really the season of delight and wonder and simple pleasures. And like I was saying, sometimes we get really serious and and there is moments, there are more moments for getting serious and, you know, having um, an attitude of focus and determination. And we can blend that seriousness with playfulness, with a beginner's mind, with delight and joy. And so as you move into the season, I want you to awaken your senses, breathe in the fresh new autumn air. Look at all of the beautiful colors. If you live in a a place where you can enjoy the trees changing, what are the colors of fall in your area? What is nature doing to prepare for winter? What do you love about this season? Now, some of you might be completely pumpkined out. Now, I'm, I'm not a pumpkin fan when it comes to fake syrups and that kind of thing. But our family, we love going to the pumpkin patch. We love making fresh, healthy pumpkin muffins, which I just did this morning on this rainy day. We love soups and the smell of just that crisp, you know, air and cinnamon and apple picking and just the things that awaken your delight. Think about what you loved as a child. Did you guys ever make big piles of leaves and then jump in them? There wasn't a care in the world. You weren't on a clock saying, I got to get all this stuff cleaned up and get my yard perfect. Wonder, delight, the simple pleasures in life. When we allow the seasons and nature to remind us of those simple delights, we soften. That's a way to soften. That's a way to open our hearts. That's a way to treat others and ourselves with gentleness, with tenderness, with compassion. So allow yourself to grieve, allow yourself to reflect, allow yourself to flow with the season of change, allow yourself to let go and, and, and really forgive if there's anything coming up for you where maybe you have regret about something, maybe that you, you thought you would be somewhere in your life and you're not there yet, forgive Forgiveness is a big part of this season because when we forgive, we make space in our hearts for love. We make space in our hearts and in our lives for those new beginnings yet to unfold. So maybe what you thought should happen, you could let go of now. Maybe you could move forward rather than with so much fear and worry about the future, but maybe with a sense of curiosity, with a sense of awe, with a sense of appreciation. You know, one of the things that I've recognized in my life, and if you listen to the past couple episodes, I'm sharing just little snippets about some awakenings I've been having. And I went on a trip recently where I was felt like I was leaving my old life, coming back to my new life. And what I started to see in some of these new shifts in perspective and really this alignment with my inner nature and my open heart and my ability to forgive myself and others and my ability to treat myself 
and others with unconditional love. As I feel more in alignment with that frequency and that energy, I'm starting to see my past and what's gotten me to this moment in a very different light. I'm seeing it with more grace. I'm seeing it with more lightness. I'm seeing it with more appreciation, even the challenges and the struggles. And I'm seeing what feels almost like a movie. You know when you watch a movie for the first time? Let's say I love movies that have a lot of like hidden clever humor or connections or symbolism that you can't really catch the first time around, but then you watch it a second or third or 10th time and you keep picking up things. Oh, that's what that meant. And oh, now I get it. I love that kind of stuff. And I I feel like that's a lot of what's happening in my life right now where I'm looking back on the past And I'm seeing how those little dots of connection make sense to where I am in this moment. But as I was living it, I didn't, it didn't make any sense. It didn't, it just was part of life, even the challenges, right? And so now it feels like I'm watching a movie, like I'm replaying my past, like it's a movie and all of those clues and zigzag roads that got me to this point oh, that's what that meant. And oh, that makes a lot of sense. And that's how that brought me to this person. And that's how I learned about this, right? And if you think about it, it's kind of the same thing in moving forward. It's like, we don't know what the next corner will bring. We don't know what the next path is for us. However, When you trust yourself and you treat yourself with loving kindness and you practice being present, you can look at the next part of your path rather than with fear, but with complete love and awe. We can change our fear and worry into trust and curiosity. And knowing that frees up space for those new beginnings that are yet to come. So I think the hard part when we get into our humanness and we let our mind control our life, the hard part is waiting. The hard part is patience. The hard part is slowing down. We want to push through life. We want to force things to happen. And maybe we could do that and get away with that in summer energy with that fire element. But we're shifting now. And the season is encouraging us to listen Where do you need to stop pushing your life to happen, forcing your life to happen, burning the candle at both ends? Where can you invite a sense of curiosity and wonder and enjoy some of the simple pleasures that the season change brings? Savor your life. Savor this moment. Savor the changes that are happening now and that are yet to come. And the only really wonderful thing that we need to do in this moment is laugh, lean into humor, do something joyful. Look at life with a beginner's mind like children do. Stay gentle, stay soft in your heart. Let your heart lead the way. Your mind can co-create with you. But what does your heart want most in this moment? What does your heart need most? Are you listening to your heart? Or are you just pushing through day in and day out until you pass out again at the pillow and do it all over again? This season, this change is asking you to stop and listen, pause and pay attention, bring more balance, ease, grace, beauty, peace, presence, and joy into your day-to-day life. What is that going to look like for you? In honor of Autumn Equinox 2023, from now through September 25th, 2023, I am offering half off a deep dive human design reading or flower essence sessions. 
These will not be listed on my website. It is only for listeners of this podcast or readers of my Substack. So if you want a half off session, you can look at my website to see what the sessions are. Go to a free spirit life.com or Shannon Kinney do duh.com. Click on sessions. You'll see my one on one healing sessions and then read through what looks good for you. I am offering half off the deep dive reading, human design, or the flower essence sessions. And it's just for this weekend only. So to get that special or to inquire and learn more about it, you can just send me an email hello at Shannon Kinney, duh.com. Okay. So thank you so much for being here, for listening. Share this podcast with your friends. Leave me a review on iTunes. I'm so appreciative of that. And if you haven't subscribed to my Substack newsletter, I send love notes about once a week. Depends on when I'm inspired, but I always send out information, especially when the podcast comes out and you can subscribe to that on my website as well. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.